Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Welcome back to another beer review. I'm very excited about this beer tonight. Today, whatever whatever time you're watching this at. Um, this is Big Bird, a double IPA from Trillium Brewing Company. Um, they've been doing their small bird series, doing kind of like one-offs of experimental, like sessionable, hoppy pale ales and whatnot, low ABV beers. I've loved every single small bird series beer that I've had. Um, but they decided this time to do Big Bird, which is a double IPA, 8.5% alcohol by volume. Um, I don't know the hops in this, they don't tell us. So a couple people I need to thank for this. Uh, my man Scott, thank you so much. Um, he reached out and was like, hey, you need to try some beers. One of them is Big Bird, so he threw it in a box and sent it. And then also Lauren, um, I we were have been talking about trading and um, we actually sent beers, the box that she sent just hasn't come yet. So there, I think there's a can of that in that box that's coming. So um, I actually get to review one of these and then share one with friends. So that's awesome. Thank, thank you guys both. Um, this was canned on June 17th. So we're right at a month old. Um, I know some people don't like when I review beers that are older. You guys know I'm team old IPA, but I just got this. So <laughs> I didn't have a chance to review it any fresher. So. Let's get into it. I feel like it's been a while since I've had a big double IPA from Trillium. Um, wow. Uh, I heard sort of rumorish that this is hopped as much as Headroom. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, Headroom was kind of like, not a controversial beer, but um, I gave that beer 100 when I reviewed it, but I got four different cans of that the last release, and two of them were really good. One burned like crazy, and the other one I traded. So um, I think people just kind of I don't know. I don't know if cans of that were hit and miss or what the deal was, but let's check this one out. I like that can. <laughs> the big old fucking talons. So, uh, it looks like juice. It doesn't look like Hedrum. Hedrum looked like yeast starter. It was like super turbid and disgusting, like old hoof hearted looking beer. This looks awesome. It's like that glowing kind of pineapple juice. Uh, finger of like a bright white head. We are in our dialed-in glassware. It's not proper glassware, but it's kind of proper glassware. I don't have Trillium glassware, I just have dialed-in glassware. This is Trillium, you know what, fuck it, it's proper glassware. Um, but I can just smell fruit juice wafting from the uh, the wind blowing. 8.5%, there's some alcohol legs on that, but it looks absolutely killer in that glass. It looks like juice, so. Like I said, they do not tell you the hops. There's a bunch of different malts in this, but there is no hop, so. It, it's insane what this smells like. I could just tell you what it smells like from right here, but we'll shove our fat nose in it. See what we get. <laughs> it smells like it's like pineapple juice with peaches and like pears. It's crazy. This smells like there's galaxy in it. I don't I mean that's just from what I know of galaxy. It's it is. It's like dripping overripe pineapple. <sighs> this room, I what did we uh this smells sort of like Enter the Fog Dog did, which is the only reason why I'm thinking maybe there's Galaxy in here. I had that beer a couple weeks ago and it's still kind of fresh in my mind. But there is, there's also like this, it's stone fruit, it is, it's like peachy, it's crazy. It's still very green um, and it has that kind of yeasty, that kind of vitamin-y thing. I always talk about like that Flintstone vitamin kind of chalky thing. It, eight and a half percent though, this beer does not smell hot at all. It's straight juice, it's crazy. I don't know, again, for as massive as this nose is right now, when this was fresh, it was probably pretty crazy. But it does, it's that kind of yeasty, chalky thing, it also smells kind of like that white bready sort of like, kind of like that just kind of faint bready like crackery thing, but this is juice in a glass. It's crazy what this smells like. So let's go and taste it. Cheers, guys. Thank you. My dog is going crazy right now. She's a Jack. She's a Jack Russell, and there's like a little, there's like a baby lizard that's cruising around, and she just loves eating lizards. And I don't want her to come out and eat the baby one. I don't care if she eats the big ones, because she's a dog, and that's what she does. She fucking hunts. The baby one though, she's just going nuts right now, just scratching at the door. This beer is stupid. It's, it's like a fruit cocktail. I will say, and I said this in the last Battle Beers video that I did, I've been a little bit sensitive to 
tasting sort of like booziness in beers, there's like a touch of just something on the finish of that that lets you know that it's beer. It might not be booze, but there's something, there's a bitterness that's there, a pithy kind of, I don't want to say it's alcoholic, but there's kind of like a something at the end of that, but it doesn't bother me, I'm just noticing it. But the taste falls in those on this one. It's fresh cut pineapples with peaches, and then mid-palate, there, there comes in like this citrusy, pithy, like almost grapefruit rind, and then it finishes with more of like just fruit juice, and then that kind of pithy citrus, like whatever that is, grapefruit peel or orange peel, it goes, it, it like finishes with that juice thing. So you get like this crazy, it's like a combination of like fruit juice with bitterness. I've, I've never, I'm not gonna say I never had that happen with beer, but I don't recall a beer that, usually beer will finish juicy or beer will finish like with an awesome like pithy bitterness. This finishes both, if that makes any sense. This is awesome. I'm happy to report there's no headroom burn on this at all and there's no alcohol that you taste yeah this is very green very earthy on the finish it's super pithy like rindy grapefruit and like you're chewing on like herbs there's even like a little bit of a green kind of grassiness to it on the finish but there's so much juice like pineapple and peach juice even like some grapefruit since you're tasting all that like pithy grapefruit this beer is insane this is really really good it's very hoppy, very, very hoppy. If you like hoppy beers, you're stoked on this beer. I'm just, I'm surprised. I don't wanna say I'm surprised. This is much more drinkable to me than Hedrum was. You are just getting punched in the face though with hops. Like it's just sitting on my tongue, that bitterness. And this can's a month old. I bet fresh, you, this might've been like overly green, super, like you might've got that kind of yeasty burn thing because a month later it's kind of mellowed out, I'm guessing, and it's still this green and hoppy. This is, <laughs> this is really, really, really good. And when I first said I was tasting like what I thought was booze, the last couple of like drinks of it I've had, that's not there. So I don't know if it was just me not having beer this week and then drinking that, maybe just kind of like getting back into tasting what like a big beer is. Mouthfeel is chewy, this beer is fucking awesome. It's, yeah, that's fire. Um, it's been so long since I've had Headroom, and I know that some of the cans, the one can of it I had was straight heartburn, and it burned, so the one that I reviewed was awesome, and I gave that beer 100. I don't, like I said, I can't remember that far ago what that beer really tasted like, but for me, being someone who likes massively hoppy beers, someone who likes insanely juicy, really intense beers, that's what this is. There's nothing about this beer I would change. The mouth feels awesome. You don't taste booze. It's so tropical fruity. And then from mid palate to finish, you get that kind of West Coasty, pithy, citrus, awesome, like bitterness to finish. It's super balanced. It doesn't burn. It's fucking amazing. So, you know what? I don't give a shit. It's 100. It's hashtag hundreds. This beer is insane. So, uh, that's Big Bird from Trillium. If you guys had it, Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought of it. I've heard mixed things about this. I heard people didn't like this, but I think maybe they were drinking it really, really young. This had to have just been crazy in your face insane when it first got brewed and was released fresh. So I don't know, I'll see what people say, but I'm giving it a hundred. There's nothing I would change about it. It's intense and I fucking love it. So uh, Scott, Lauren, thank you guys for sending cans of this. You guys are amazing. So I'm out of here guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse, so I can bring bad news to all these crews who 